Hi, Norman Howitt here with your next 4-Minute Drill for Traders. I don't know about you, but I get hundreds of emails a day, and most of them want me to buy something. And clearly, three-quarters of them have something to do with trading. Even though I've been professionally trading for over 30 years and see myself as a continuous student of the art of trading, I just can't handle the waste of time I have to spend to get through and delete most of them and read through the, view, the few that I'm actually interested in. So I took some action and if you're in the same situation, I advise you to consider making the same moves that I made. Now the first thing I did of course was to increase the sensitivity of the spam filter so that I could eliminate the junk mail without even ever seeing it. In fact, I turned it up though little by little. I turned the sensitivity up little by little so I could feel comfortable about filtering out the emails that weren't important and leaving those that were. I found that right balance. But next, I did something even more time saving. I got off all those trading lists that I was on and never read the emails. Look, every time you request a free video or a free PDF from a trading entity, bingo, you're on their list. Now, again, I don't know about you, but I have a big interest in what's new in trading, so I'm opting into something, it seems, somebody's list at least twice a week. So I gave myself a number, 10, and I said to myself, I'm getting off all the traders' lists except 10. To do that, I sketched out a criteria. For me, I don't like firms that promise me the moon and firms that are too salesy and absolutely in the, the holy grail. So I took those out of my life first by unsubscribing. Then I said, okay, what emails do I get but never open? Goodbye to those two. Now it was getting tough. I still had to eliminate eight email voices to reach my goal of having only 10. But I eased the pain in my mind. I eased the pain of that decision by making a statement to myself. I realized that I could always get back on the list. All I had to do was request any free stuff from them and I'd be back on the list. So I took that fear of getting off something I really shouldn't have. So finally, I approached it from another side. I determined which emails I open the most and kept those 10 and wrote down the names of the final eight that I eliminated so I could get back on them if I wanted to and boom, I was down to 10. Now I have lived my life for the last week after cleaning out all those, those unwanted email, all that email traffic that I, that I don't need and I have to tell you, it's freed up time and energy. So, I say to you, get out there and start unsubscribing from those email lists you never open and who are always pitching you and those that promise you the moon. It will make a lot more time for those professionals who are speaking your language and that you get some value from. You'll be a better trader, believe me. And hey, you're not going to miss some of those important pieces of information because again that's a fear that's unwarranted so don't let that stop you from getting out the knife and cutting out some of those people who you don't get anything from and they're still bothering you every day with their emails okay that's it for this edition of four minute Joel for traders how about taking a few seconds and tell all of us how you keep your email box free of all the noise and all the boisterous traders out there how you keep it free of junk and spam in the areas of trading and otherwise. Leave a comment and let's get our valuable time back. And okay, hey, if you're on my list, incidentally, I hope you get enough value and usability from me, from my material, to keep me around. So until next week, stay disciplined.